Welcome to Oz Music Central TV. My name is Nick and I'm the media guy for Oz Music Central. Now Oz Music Central is all about promoting everything music in your local area, but also promoting you guys as musicians. Now we'll be doing all of this through our, our website at www.ozmusiccentral.com.au The website's beside me here. Now this website is going to be your tool for everything you need to know uh, for being a musician and making a career out of music. We're going to have helpful information, uh, updates on news, we're going to have a forum and I really encourage you guys to join the forum, join the chat, uh, learn something there and also collaborate with other musicians because you might be able to help each other um, with writing music or finding gigs. We'll also let you know where all the local concerts are and um, we'll also have Facebook and Twitter and I encourage you to join them because you'll get updates, um, current updates all the time on what's happening. Now also it's a great opportunity for you guys to put your demos and CDs or music and all your music on there so everyone else can listen to it and this will give you guys a great opportunity to get your music out to all the people. Now, each week when we are, have our Oz Music Central TV, we're going to have a, a CD of the week and a band of, uh, and an artist or band of the week. And you guys will have the opportunity to um, explain about yourselves and also play live. So I encourage you to contact us through the website if you'd like your chance to get on our TV show here on the net. Now our album of the week is Matt Biscuit. And this is a great album, it's um, very cool guitaring and very clever songs. So uh, I encourage you to get on the website and have a listen to this. And uh, on the forums, let us know what you think. Let us know if you love it. And um, if you'd like a copy, you can either contact him via our website or you can contact us and we'll let you know how you can get a hold of this CD. And now our Artist of the Week, which is Chris McGuire. Thanks Chris. Thanks for having me. It's a big honor to be here. Thank you. Now, Chris is uh, currently recording an album, and uh, he's been working very hard. Now, Chris, I've been, I've seen you play live twice so far, and you're fantastic. So, you, what you can do with that guitar is pretty amazing, and um, a lot of the feedback is that you're brilliant. So, thank you. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank now, you. how long have you been playing to get that good? Oh, I've been playing since I was 12, and I'm yep. 30 now, so you can do the math on that. Yeah, and you've been working hard, obviously. Now, when I saw you perform, you are very sort of Tommy Emmanuel, very bluesy. Have you always follow, um, followed blues music? Is that what you started playing? Not really. Um, when I really started to practice the guitar, I was mostly Nirvana, getting into that. Yeah. Um, but the first song I wanted to learn was Stairway to Heaven from... Um, Led Zeppelin, yeah. Uh, but there was a very first lesson, and the teacher said no. Uh, <laughs> pick an easier song. Yeah. Uh, so I started off with Imagine, and he didn't like that, and um, I, I just never really got into it in practice. And it wasn't until I found those bands like Silver Chair and Nirvana, started yeah. to practice up a little bit more, and then it just grew from there. Now the jump from grunge to to Tommy Emmanuel blues that's that's a big opposite. So when, it, when did you start wanting to actually play um, classic acoustic, if you could call it that? Um, probably about five years ago, um, I started to think, man, I, I really want to tackle that style. Yeah. Um, and then probably in the last two years, I've been taking it a lot more seriously. I took a year off um, last year just to work on solo acoustic stuff. Yeah. Um, got a teacher that could do that amazingly. Yeah. Um, and then studied up and... Still, still learning, still, still yeah. getting better at it. How, how many hours would you practice a day? I'm happy if I get two in, two um, hours, two hours um, of just the acoustic stuff. Um, but usually it comes down to more like one. Um, yeah. For life getting in the way. Yeah, that's um, true. But I'm happiest with two. Yeah. Now you're also a guitar teacher. When did you start? How old were you when you started teaching guitar? I was nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. And what? What are high school kids wanting to learn these days? Um, mostly, mostly just easy songs like ACDC is, is really big. Yeah, even um, with the high schoolers of today. Yeah, yeah. I have like little eight year olds that want to be the next Angus Young <laughs> and things like that. So yeah, they, they truly are quite timeless and yeah, ACDC is definitely the most popular Excellent. choice. Now how's the, how's the album going? Yeah, it's going really well actually. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of work involved in it and um, 
I just want to make sure that, because it's just all, all guitar stuff, it's all up to the quality of notes, so each note has to be just right. Yeah. Um, so it's taking a little bit of time, and it, but the songs are coming along quite well, and I'm quite happy with the process overall. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us today. No worries. Thanks now, for having me. Now, Chris is going to perform a song for us called Wonderful Day. Take it away, Chris. Thank you. Thank you for watching Oz Music Central TV.